The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to start out with the German DAX as we go across the pond. As you can see, we're still heading down. We got a little bit lower ABCD heading down, and we only have, what, eight more days to get down to that December 7th Bradley date that we think we'll have the S&P maybe at 2708, 2730 around that ballpark if it, uh, if it gets there. So that's what we're keeping a very close eye on. Next, what we'll do is we'll take a little... Uh, trip across the uh, hold on a second here the english channel here and we'll go over to the uh, uk just give me one second uh well you know <laughs> we'll just go right down the train and get there give me one second folks and i'll get this uh, chart up you don't have a chart up yet well by golly i certainly posted one in there and i don't know why it's not showing but let's just do it again to make everybody happy and here is the this is the FTSE. now let me go back and i will do the dax again uh, oh, it's the problem with Hotcom, yeah. Uh, folks, if you can see the charts, please let us know because we're having a little bit of a problem with Hotcom. I see them okay, but uh, we'll see what's happening. Thank you very much, Terry, about the e, uh, about the E-mini. I do that every day in a video to watch what's going on in, in that market. What I did yesterday was I sent out a video taking a 30-minute chart and then also a 15-minute chart, how I break it down. So when I'm trading, I try to look for two good trades a day. That's really all I like to look for. Uh, sometimes it's the S&P, sometimes it's bonds, you know, whichever one, gold, whichever looks the best. And uh, that's usually, uh, you know, what I do. Um, but the E-mini is very active, and so you do get some really nice patterns especially if you're looking at the 15-minute chart. We've posted some of those in here before, so that gives you a pretty good idea that you have some good swings. I don't think it's the best thing to trade. I think the best thing to trade, of course, is the euro, uh, followed by uh, crude oil, and then the gold. Those are three of the best, and we'll see what's going on. Um, let's see. Uh, Mr. Z is asking me if... Uh, if uh, Winsky sees a cycle low uh, somewhere around uh, to this morning. You know, I looked at Norm's work uh, just briefly this morning, if you'll give me a second here, I will take a quick look at it. And uh, he is looking, uh, let me see, yeah, here is, a, yeah, he says it's in the buy alert zone, and they have an astro cycle date between, nine, uh, between May 30th and May 31st. That's what he's looking at. As a matter of fact, if you hold on here just a second, I'll pull this up here so we can uh, take a look at it, and I'll just post it into the, uh, post it into the room here, and then everybody can see the times that he's looking at, and then we'll uh, get it. Now, I, you know, folks, I don't look at the timing that close. I can tell you that right now. And the, the reasoning for that is uh, I'm a pattern person, and that's the one that, you know, gets me to the promised land. So here is, uh, let me just get this up here a little bit larger so we can see it. And uh, but there is some, and hey, not only that, but look, stop and think a minute, folks. We have the weekend coming up. And, uh, you know, a lot of people don't like to hold stuff over the weekend. So that's pretty much what we're looking at, you know. But I do believe that we are going to be down, just looking at that big ABCD pattern in the S&P. That's, uh, that's the one that uh, we think is, uh, you know, running the show right now. And it could change any moment, of course. But if we take a look at this C-mini, you'll see that it measures right there to 2730. That's a perfect ABCD level. We're trading around 2790, somewhere in that ballpark right now. Uh, you notice that 78% level was pretty much spot on yesterday at uh, that 66, uh, 70. So that held relatively well, but I still believe that we're heading down. If you counted the number of days down, from the high on May 1st, we came down uh, 11 day. Uh, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, 12 days. Well, 12 days is going to take us. Let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's going to take us out into uh, next Wednesday. And next Wednesday, if we take a look at the old calendar, 
The old calendar on next Wednesday will be the 5th, within one day of Mr. Twentyman's birthday. So that ought to be it for a birthday present for Mr. JT. So I don't know. That's what I'm looking at. That's what I see. The one that I like the best, folks, I love shorting those bonds. I think those bonds, we got up above 153. Uh, 02 yesterday uh, stopped, broke a full point. Now we're coming back. If we get those bonds at 153.24 sometime the next week or so, uh, look your chops on that one because that looks like it could be, you know, pretty good. So we'll see. The gold, very interesting. Two things, uh, Ruby. I wanted to comment you on the coffee. The uh, coffee did exactly what you'd hoped. We had those three higher bottoms. We've now moved 10 cents a pound up in coffee. That's 4000 bucks with the triple bottom down there. So the coffee could be on its way. I don't know what it's doing today, but it's it's been acting relatively well. Uh, regarding the gold, the two things that, have, that that really trouble me in the gold market, folks, gold doesn't look too bad. It really doesn't. But what bothers me is the fact that the silver went below the 78% level and stayed there. Uh, in fact, we're still there. <laughs> we're a little above it right now. But uh, And the other one is platinum. Platinum went right down to that 78% level and so far is held. At, uh, it, hadn't, it did broke the uh, 790 level by $1. And, uh, yep, coffee is up 1.65% today, so that's a nice one. That was a, a really nice, we should show the folks that, because that's the type of pattern that uh, when you see it, it really gives you a uh, really idea, because you're, if you look at this here, we'll get this up here so we can take a look at it. You have these higher bottoms in here. You'll see those three higher bottoms. Those were the, that's the 135 pattern that the Longstreet boys liked, uh, Roy and Bill. Because when you had those and they come right at retracements, and each of those retracements was 78%, and now, you know, we're we're popping above that. We're breaking. In fact, we're having the best rally we've had uh, this year. So that could be a really good thing. We're seeing the same thing in cotton. Uh, cocoa's acting relatively well. Uh, sugar's holding up relatively well. So all of those tells us that we're uh, very, very close, you know, to something that looked the should be pretty good. I've had a request to take a look at a very unusual cross rate. It's not a, you know, it's a big one, but not. I don't trade this at all. It's the, uh, it's the New Zealand, uh, New Zealand dollar. If we get up here and take a look at this, you'll see. Uh, uh, I, what I see in cattle is the they're trying to make a bottom, Marshall. But there's so many other great things going on. Cattle just are not in my, my uh, are not heavily on my watch list. I mean, I've been watching, you know, the grains. Uh, and all that stuff, so I, I just I can't do it all, as they say in the trade. So, uh, but the cattle do look like they're making some type of a bottom in here, and hogs also are trying to make some type of a of a retracement pattern here to see it. But let's take a look at this a New Zealand dollar versus the U.S. dollar here. You'll notice that we have a big Gartley forming, but the key here is if you look at those green dotted lines. During August and October of last year, you'll see that three drive to a bottom pattern, A, B, C, D fashion. Bada bing, bada boom. What are you seeing on now between uh, May and June? Three drive to a bottom pattern, A, B, C, D. So this is really, really close level here in the uh, in the New Zealand dollar here at the 65.650 um, level. So very interesting interesting pattern as we see that unfold and now the clock on the wall tells us that we're going to pay a few bills for tfnn and we'll be right back 877-927-6648 The Taz Profile Scanner is the most revolutionary piece of trading software that you will ever try. Wouldn't you like to approach the markets with confidence? As you begin your trading day, it's likely that you'll be faced with lots of decisions. In order to make the best decision, the first thing you'll need is a strategy that will help you minimize your risks. Whether we're in a bull or bear market, a good strategy is to have the tools needed to help you scan and analyze the markets before you trade. The Taz Profile Scanner instantly scans and filters over 2,500 global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, president of Taz Market Profile, the Taz Profile Scanner understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications, automated trading algorithms, and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. 
Whether you're looking at the trade matrix, the ETF heat grid, the market breadth, the landscape charts, or the many other features of the TAS Profile Scanner, this is a piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the markets and set up your trades. The team at TAS has even put together a 12-part video series to walk you through every aspect of the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find directly on the TAS order page at tfnn.com. Sign up now for only $97 a month with a risk-free 30-day trial so you have nothing to lose and everything to gain. See for yourself how you can harness the full power of the TAS Profile Scanner by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services section. Remember, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to lose. Don't let another day pass you by without trying out this amazing piece of software that will revolutionize how you look at the market and how you place trades. Sign up today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. We're back, folks, and I posted a chart for one of our good friends here in the den, Mr. Mr. and his lovely bride up there in Washington. And let's take a look at this cattle, folks. We've been here for two weeks. Uh, you can see we broke from 120 down to 10, just 106 and change, you know, 14 handles. Uh, we're at major support now in August cattle. Uh, the risk here would be at 105. So, you know, if it turns, uh, you notice we got a double bottom down in here. So you've got some technical things to tell you that, yeah, maybe this is a good time to take a look at the long side of cattle. Uh, personally, I think there's other things that look a little more interesting. But uh, if you like cattle, and I certainly like my share of the of the beef. But anyway, uh, it, looks, it looks like it's making uh, a little bit of a bottom in here. Uh, for sure. Now, if let's remember, folks, that when we're looking at the timing of these things, and this is a question that people ask me all the time, and in fact, uh, when we talked about posting Norm's Astro Times today, time is the most elusive thing out there, folks. Uh, it's really difficult. I do believe that it is astrological, but I've only seen bits and pieces of it. I believe sometime before the old uh, Walter and I head off into the sunset, there will be a segment on Bloomberg and CNBC from place like Yale or probably MIT uh, explaining how uh, the astro harmonics work and why they fit in. And even then when they do that, it will only be uh, probabilistic. It won't be certainty. And that's the key they have to remember. It's all about the risk control that we're dealing with. Okay, now let's take off the old gloves and let's do a, this is what we call the LP Apology Tour. Let me uh, give you a little bit of a thing here yesterday. I wanted to show you a couple of things here uh, that I looked at. If you remember when we were looking at the corn, I put the price up here of corn. I was looking at at 454 and change. Uh, the problem is I missed that point by two cents. It went up to that level. And um, um, I don't know anybody from Kim in Oregon about gold. Um, I'm sorry, Mr. C, I don't know who you're referring to uh, in gold uh, up in Florida. I mean, up in Oregon. I really don't know. Um, sorry, I wish I did. But let, let me get back to this corn because this is something that uh, I wanted to cover because I, I made a mistake. And I, I want to be able to uh, show you what I did wrong. 
if you'll notice here, here, here was here's the corrected version. Let me just show you what I did. This is the continuation chart on Christmas corn, or excuse me, on corn, the actual corn market going back to 2014. You can see it's right up there at that 61% retracement yesterday. What I did was I posted that chart and I posted it as December corn. Well, it's not December corn. It's the cash market in corn over a period of years. And so that's why it's, uh, it, that's why I wanted to, you know, bring it. It really made no difference in the trading setup. But the, the way that I looked at it was certainly not the right way to look at it. I should have looked at the continuation chart of corn and told you that's what it was. I put it in as December corn. I posted the December corn, but I discussed it as uh, continuation. Not a good thing to do. Where do we go from here in the corn? Here's what we're looking at. Yesterday, had a $1,000, little $1,200 break in corn from 454. We went right down to uh, 430. Stopped dead in its tracks. We rallied up. Right now, we're trading almost at 442. That's a 61% retracement. If that turns out to be an ABCD, that means we're going to come in to the 382 ABCD pattern at the gap at 420. I'm going to buy corn at 420. And the reason why is it's an ABCD pattern in a weather market filling a gap. And as Gartley said on page 222 of his book, buy ABCD. D patterns in bull markets, and that's what we're watching here right now. We saw that same thing in crude oil when we broke below $57 a barrel. We're now trading at 59. There's another example of that same thing. So let's uh, play it, pay pay attention on it. And we'll see what happens in uh, what those beautiful things uh, look like when they when they come to. The problem is they don't always work, and that's the $64 question, folks. We're coming up to uh, the anniversary of D-Day, June 6th, 1945. Well, we got a battle going on right now in the foreign exchange markets, and it is in the U.S. dollar. It is ready to head for the Battle of the Bulge. Let's get this thing up and take a look at this. This is the U.S. dollar index. You'll notice that box, that red box up there where it says 0.618 on the weekly. Big time, big time number, folks. If we get above that, um, Katie bar the door, we're going to be looking at some really big moves, and I'll point out a couple of them for you here in a minute. But it's got a real chance here. Uh, we're already above the 78% level, and the euro's, you know, dancing with the shadow of death right now as we speak. So uh, whether that's going to mean much or not. But take a look here. Just switch over for a second and look at this euro here on a monthly basis. I just wanted to show you you know, the huge swings that we have in this thing over the past 40 years. And uh, you'll notice that uh, we've had that huge cycle in there. The, you can see the 1985 there. That was not the euro, folks. That was the Deutschmark. This was a converted, of course. And um, the euro actually came in around 1998. 2000 is when it really started to rock and roll. And as you can see, that three drive pattern, three higher bottoms, just like we saw in coffee, 135 pattern. Really nice spot. And this is a monthly chart. And uh, you can see we had this big run up. Now you can see where we are right now. And uh, we could easily go back to 88 uh, on this if we break really badly. The key here, you notice we're trading here at 111.24 this morning. The key here is we get below 111.60. Oh, excuse me, 110.60. That, that, that means that U.S. dollar is on its way and the, the euro is heading down. You know, so see what's going on. Tucker, <laughs> Tucker is saying, thank you for your admitting an error. Tucker, if I spent my time talking about the errors that I do, we wouldn't have any more air time. They'd have to help me on four hours a day. I do try to remember them, but, you know, but that one was really glaring, and I wanted to thank someone down in Houston uh, for bringing it to my attention. And uh, when I looked at it, I said, oh, boy, there's another one of those three o'clock in the morning deals, and uh, we'll see. Anyway, uh, you, you have to, you know, to, well, yeah. <laughs> let's move on here to a couple things. These currencies are really, really uh, at a critical levels. Every single one of them. The pound went down and touched that low again at 126.10. If we get below 126, folks, the pound is going to not look very good, and that would tell us that we're most probably getting uh, ready to break, but it's held now. And uh, it's held here for the whole week. We haven't really broken below it, which is a, 
a pretty good uh, you know indication because we did have the ABCD down there, but it hasn't moved. Much like what happened with silver, we got all the silver is just just laying here. It's not that we need silver about 15 bucks to an ounce to say, hey, I've got legs, but it's not uh, you know it's not the case here. Um, all right, let's. Oh, someone asked me a a question the other day that I didn't even want to answer, but it's about the Illuminati. Folks, I don't know diddly squat about that. I let Tom Hanks figure that stuff out, but that's uh, about six or seven levels uh, above my pay grade. But I do believe there's uh, people out there that are running the show that don't tell us and they don't know who we are or we don't know who they are, and they want to keep it that way. So uh, I don't know anything about conspiracy theories, but there's somebody out there that does some things that uh, probably shouldn't be done, but they still do them. But who knows? Off my soapbox and on to some commercials for TFNN, 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the markets opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we want to take a look at the uh, hogs. We just looked at cattle. Uh, this gives you another indication, Marshall, that uh, these meats might be bottoming in here. The hogs are uh, certainly uh, at a higher level. They just made a 61% retracement for the second time, so there's your risk. So it looks pretty good. Uh, give me a second here, folks. We just opened, and I need to check a few things. I've got a couple of orders sitting out there 
and I wanted to see if they're getting close or not. So see what's going on here. Uh, the S&P, I'd like to sell at 2803, and that's about it. Uh, oh, my corn is really close to where I think I might nibble at it, and that's at 444. That's a 61% retracement back. And uh, I'm not going to risk much on that one, boys and girls. That'll be about a nickel risk. So we'll pay uh, close attention to that. Uh, we just made a 61% retracement in the gold up here at 1282. Not doing too much there. The pound is still down around 126.15. Uh, not going anywhere. So that's pretty much what I'm looking at. The crude oil, uh, I think uh, we're going to have a down move in crude today. Probably won't start for another hour, but um, that's what it looks like to me. We had a little bit of a rally, but we'll see if, uh, if we can get to that level. Also, I'd like to be looking to sell the uh, bonds up here, uh, maybe a tick or two higher, but after a little bit early. So that's pretty much what I'm looking at. I want to switch over now to uh, something that uh, has been in the news that we've had some questions about. That is the car that you can't hear when you drive it. Always a little scary phenomenon especially if you're from southern Indiana. You'll notice here that we have a Tesla. The key here, folks, is something very, very important, okay? Look look at the, uh, the time between November and March, and you'll see two red boxes in there. The first one marked is the 1.27. That's the expansion to the downside. The second one is the smaller swing at 1.618. Notice how it gapped and closed below those levels. That is extremely negative. The stock went from 212 all the way down to um, 185, and it's still going down. And if you look at the lowest of those red boxes, the third one, which uh, is highlighted there from um, you know 1.68 around the November time period, that just has nothing to do with time. It tells you that the swing is there at uh, 168. I think that's where we're gonna be looking at Tesla when we finally reach this bottom in the S&P that we're looking at for possibly uh, uh, June the 7th. The June 7th, uh, if, it's, if it's correct, is gonna be a really key level to look at because if we don't hold that, that that's not gonna be a good sign for the stock market. We've seen all these divergences, you know, whether they happen longer term or not, I don't know, but uh, this is a pretty te heavy technical chart, but that's what it looks like um, for uh, watching Tesla. I'm not in the, uh, things about, you know, conspiracies of whether Elon Musk is, you know, for real. I, I have no idea about that. I've never ridden in a Tesla. Tesla, I've sat in one, but I've, uh, I, 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 in fact, it was running and I was sitting in it and it's, it bothered me a little bit. I'd like to hear the rumble of it. Okay. Uh, Terry's asking a question. Are soybeans going to make a move similar to corn and wheat? Terry, I don't know the answer to that. All I do know is that things are set up for it. If you remember a couple of months ago, we were talking with Sime only and Rich Anderson, the possibility of El Nino. Well, what we've had now is a, you know, of, you know, what, uh, what's going on. It, it could easily do that. But in order for soybeans to make a similar move to corn and wheat, uh, they're going to have to do some really serious work in here because of the fact that, uh, you know, uh, we have a lot of soybeans. And with this trade thing with uh, China, I don't know. Right now, I don't see that happening, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, there, there will be a big crop. You're right, Terry. They're switching from corn to beans, so that's going to increase. It's the same thing coming out of Brazil. You know, it's all that's all that's happening uh, together. So look at Ruby's asking, do I see platinum going to 750 if it doesn't hold here? You know, it can go to 750 real easy. If we get below that, uh, we got to eight. Uh, excuse me, we got to 789. Anything below 780 would certainly tell me that we could easily drop another 80 dollars. That means that gold and silver would be failing too. And remember, the 382 on that gold contract on the long-term weekly was right up there at that, uh, you know, 1395 uh, level. And uh, from there, we went 1395 down to the uh, 1267. And then we bounced a little bit, but we're not bouncing much. This is, a you know, pretty much a definition of a of a dead cat bounce in here, what it looks like to me. I, I don't know. I, what I do is I just look at these, I just look at these darn patterns and I, I you know, I hear all the news and all the cons uh, people send me, uh, I get one or two things on conspiracy theories uh, every day. 
and I don't believe any of them, you know, whether J.P. Morgan is manipulating the silver market or uh, George Soros is, uh, you know, doing whatever he's doing with the British pound. You know, all I do is look at the charts, folks. If the price goes up, there's more buying. If price goes down, there's more selling. I try to look at the patterns and the ratios. The ratios come before the patterns. Isaac Newton said, Mathematic proceed, mathematics precedes geometries because da, God does not play games with the universe, is what he said. So, And he said, God does indeed geometricize. So that's all I'm doing is taking those uh, different things because when we're looking at a price chart, it's nothing more than a box with the X and Y axis, price and time. Within that box are hypotenuses of triangles. So you connect those triangles, markets go from low to high to low and high to low to high. And if you connect those and, and they, they add up together to a pattern, i.e. a three drive, a one, three, five pattern, a butterfly, a Gartley, any of those, uh, you know, that's what you're looking for. That's, that's the edge that I perceive as a trader. I don't use the moving averages. I know that uh, some folks are really good at that, but, you know, I've strongly believe that these patterns give you a place to enter and if you wait for the moving average to turn you're going to have to pay up for it which could be the right thing to do you know i'm not saying that that's wrong it's just that i don't use them and probably i should you know ba based on uh, some of the errors that i make i wouldn't be surprised but the the two things you've got to remember when you're doing pattern recognition there are two major danger signs and the danger word for spanish is cuidado so the cuidado name of danger is when you see a big gap or you see a wide range, boys and girls, start getting your old thinking caps on because the change, there's been a change in economic thought. So pay attention to that. It's going to be very important when you see gaps in these wide ranges. Those are the things that you really want to uh, you know, pay close attention to. Let's take a quick look here at the uh, soybeans since we were talking about them just a minute ago. And Tucker asked the question, here's where we are in the beans. I'd like to see the beans come down to about the 850 level. Uh, if we get there, that would tell us that uh, we filled the gap and we made a 38% retracement. That could be the first sign where you'd be looking at uh, something that would give you a really interesting spot to uh, you know, enter without risking very much because then you have the pattern lined up with the 38% uh, level uh, into the gap area, which would also be something that would be uh, that would be able to look at. So, those are the main things that uh, I, I would be watching. So, let's pay uh, close attention to it. We hit uh, uh, 2796 here in the S&P, and hopefully, we're going to get up to that 2803 just a little bit later, and we'll go from that level to see what's going on. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. It's amazing to think that Tom O'Brien started his weekly gold report 17 years ago with the first issue published April 7th, 2002, when 
when gold was trading at under $300 per ounce. Gold peaked at more than $1,900 in 2011, and after spending many years consolidating at lower prices, gold may be poised for its next big run. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. As of April 1st of this year, the Gold Report currently has eight active positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 8% for each open trade. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your Gold Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't let gold's next big run pass you by. Sign up today. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Directions Daily S&P 500 Bull and Bear Leveraged ETFs. Direction Leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Binary Option Hour, next on TFNN. Okay, folks, we're back, and by way of a news flash out of the Pacific Northwest, we're going to take a look here at what the Elliott Wave people are thinking about. Uh, in the Treasury bonds, and we'll get this up here, and this shows you the um, uh, setup for the yield and also the daily sentiment. You can see that daily sentiment for 2018, 2019 is very, very high. The, the thing that's interesting, folks, if you look at that top part of that chart, that's the 30-year T-bond yields on a daily close, and of course, if you look at the bonds, as the bonds go up, uh, you know the uh, this is what this is what makes these uh, things go higher. They yield anyway. This is what we're watching here. The yield drops, and that's what we're looking at. So we're really close to that 153.24 uh, level that we're looking at. We hit 153.02 uh, yesterday. I don't think that's enough. I think we're going to get up to that level. But this is what it is. It's just the the sentiment index is lining up with what we're seeing in that treasury bond. It just uh, It's just one of those patterns that you have to be patient and uh, uh, wait for it. Of course, they don't always work like everything else, but uh, when you look at this, this is one of the kind that you really like to see. As we look at this uh, level here, uh, we're trading, of course, we're trading quite above. This was where we were Friday. Now we're almost uh, 152 and change right now. 152.11 or so, we hit 153.02. The number looking at is 153.24. That's not very far away, so I think we have to give it a little bit more time to see if it's going to get there. Now, I trade in and out of that uh, quite a bit. So, uh, you know, I was nibbling at it yesterday at that 153 level because it was a 1.27 expansion, and it certainly, you know, worked out okay, but they don't always do that. But uh, that's a shorter-term time frame that I was dealing with. By the way, I want to make a correction again since we're uh, correcting me as I go along, which is good. We were been told by Ruby that uh, the word for danger is peligro in um, in spanish and cuidado means be aware and folks i don't i've been saying cuidado I, i'll tell you at least 40 years and the reason why is when we went to the track the 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 uh, mater d at hollywood park ruben alvarez was from tijuana and he had like five kids and uh we became very close to him over the years because uh you know he ran the the boxes there and uh, all the service and he was the lead person when you had to get anything done and Ruben his favorite thing was cuidado is danger don't bet on that horse but uh, it means be aware and I checked it by golly he's right and fortunately Ruben has already passed away to that big place up in the sky but uh, I certainly remember him very well he had a daughter 
that uh, graduated from UCLA, and uh, she ran out of gas on the freeway, and she was putting gas into her car, and the gas can exploded on her, and she had terrible burns. And uh, we were, you know, very close to him, and we, uh, my, myself and four or five other people were able to, you know, help him out a little bit. But uh, she turned around uh, later, got, you know, a little bit of surgery, and she turned out to be a, a really nice young woman and never had any side effects after. But, boy, it was sure scary uh, when that happened. Okay, now let's move on to uh, another one that we want. And by the way, the, the dollar is uh, soaring right now. The, the, the arrow is uh, under attack. The British pound is under attack. It looks like this might be the day that it breaks out to the downside. We've been down to that same level again in the euro at 111.15. Uh, the low is 111.10. The pound is still trading at 26.15. So that's what we're watching. Now we're only six points or eight points away from that level. We're looking at 27.30 uh, in the, um, what you call it, in the S&P 500. So let's keep a uh, close eye on that as we look at these things today that's uh that's well i'm jumping around uh al that's uh, that's what i'm trying to do is <laughs> i'm trying to uh get too much information out to you at the same time but uh the uh, that's what we're watching anyway the euro is uh right near near the lows of the days right now at 111.18 the low 111.15 below 111 it's going to have some problems now corn is really picking up steam here folks we're only now only about eight cents away from the high we made the other day at the 854 level. Even beans are moving higher, so the weather is still still a problem across the Midwest, uh, and it is really a problem. The, the real problem lies, folks, because these farmers that have hedged their crops at four dollars, and if they can't put a crop in, if the crop doesn't come in, they're they're on the they're on the heat for. Uh, re delivering that corn at four dollars. So if corn goes from four to five or six dollars, five to six dollars, and uh, say it's a guy's got a thousand, say a thousand acres of corn, and uh, he loses a thousand bucks an acre, <whistles> man, he's in big trouble. He could lose the farm, and that's what happened during the uh, during the Dust Bowl years. Didn't do much hedging then, but that was the problem. They contracted that stuff and couldn't, uh, you know, kid, couldn't get it to work. So it's really important here that this corn crop starts to get in pretty closely. We don't, you know, we're not having really bad problems yet because there's no uh, supply uh, problems across the thing. Now, the big problem is, of course, that tariff thing with China, and God only knows what's going to happen there, and she's certainly not given us any indication of what's going to happen to it. So that's all I can tell you. That's all I know. All right, let's move on to, uh, I covered the Tesla, uh, covered the wheat, uh, oh, I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to mention one more time this Australian dollar uh, Aussie because it is really lining up. I don't trade this index, but we've had questions. Uh, yes, Cy is extremely busy with clients right now. Uh, fortunately, his program yeah, kept them in, into the game big time, the way that they lined it up because they, they do partial hedges. And as the market starts to go up, they lay on higher hedges. And then if it goes higher, they get into the, the futures markets and they protect themselves so that they, they're not going to get hurt. In other words, once corn went above $4 and they're hedged at $4, now they're, they're, they're at risk because they're contracted at $4. So all they do is they buy the corn futures, the December futures, and uh, then they go up. They're not losing any money. They're still making their crop, but whether the crop comes in or not, they make it on the board. They don't make it in the ground. So that's what happens when you got someone professionally managing your crop, and uh, a lot of people do that. A lot of people don't, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, uh, let's just uh, let's, let's ask about platinum one more time. I'm going to try to answer this question. I have no idea where it's going, boy. Uh, Mr. Z is talking about a Texas hedge, and that means when you're long the futures and long the cash. I can remember the first time I heard that was in 1969. They'd been trading cattle futures for a few years, and there was a dude there named Lad Hitch out of Guyman, Oklahoma. He was Jim Twentyman's customer, and he hedged, uh, excuse me, he supplied all of McDonald's beef for the West Coast. That was Washington, Oregon, California, and Arizona. All of that beef came from Guyman, Oklahoma. And he was in the office one day with his cowboy boots and 10-gallon Stetson. And they said, are you in the market? And he said, yeah. He says, I got a Texas hedge. 
Nobody knew what it was, and they said, what is it? He says, well, I'm long to futures, and I'm long to cash. And it was going straight up, and he made a lot of money. Unfortunately, in 1971 or 72, he was in the airport in Las Vegas, one of the nicest guys. Boy, you talk about a guy that really knew how to live. Well, he died of a heart attack, a massive uh, coronary um, aneurysm that took him away in a matter of seconds, just like uh, Frank Tauscher. He didn't even get to finish a sentence. That's how... Uh, pretty much it's looking. So we'll, we'll take a look. Thanks for the news on Ruby on Palladium. I'll post that after the uh, break here. 877-927-6648. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of Palladium. I wouldn't trade that if they let me trade free. The, sometimes the bid and offer on that thing could be 20 points, 1000 bucks, so I wouldn't touch it. But let's take a look. And let's hear the sound of one hand clapping for Ruby. Ruby with Starbucks and the coffee. Take a look at coffee, boys and girls. We've gone, we're actually 14 cents handled since we made the 1.27, 14 handles higher. And we're moving today, we're up four cents. Uh, as you can see, we're really blasting off after those three drives down. That's not three drives, that's a one, three, five pattern. Three drives is when you make lower bottoms. Uh, these are higher bottoms. That makes it an uptrend. So uh, very good, Ruby. I hope you're involved with that. 
And, uh, you know, the, the easy area to look at, you know, we've cleared all that old resistance and we're already above the 61% retracement of January. Uh, this has got legs. And look at the power. If you look back in last, last September when we had power like that, you know, uh, coffee went from 94 to 124, rallied 30 cents a pound. 30 cents here takes you up to the 114 level. So this could really have one heck of a move. So we'll, we'll see. Sometimes the patterns work. Sometimes they don't. So we'll hear that sound of one hand clapping for Ruby. Okay, let's take a look at uh, one other thing. Oh, just I want to mention one other, one other time uh, to talk to you about is to watch this U.S. dollar, folks. Uh, this is the key. Watch the euro above below 110.60. It's good, big trouble. I mean, it's really breaking down below 110.60, and we can see prices anywhere from uh, 108, 104, all the way down to 88, as we showed on the long-term monthly chart on that. That means the dollar is going to strengthen means our products are going to cost even more. And when you stop and think what's happening with our corn and soybean today, uh, you know, just a couple weeks ago, uh, this thing was in the sewer. Nobody wanted it, and now the whole world wants it. That's the way it goes. Some days it's chocolate cake. Some days it's vanilla cake. you got to pay your money and take your choice. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. Mm -hmm.